Hey, what's up? It's Kevin Flat. This is the video from my first ever home game, Flapman. I had a lot of footage. I had about 18 minutes of footage, but my software was just bugging out on me. It wouldn't let me record audio. It kept freezing. So I ended up having to edit it down again and then record just it edited. And now I'm doing the audio back over it. So I apologize. I had some more hands for you guys, but it wasn't able to work out. But this is the final table. On the left side, you can see everybody that showed up in their rankings. We had 19 people, well, 18 because Zaxton was only there in spirit. He was sitting out the whole time, and he still took 11th, which is pretty good. But onto this hand, just Ragged raised from under the gun, and JP301 called in the big blind. The flop went check check, and now JP301 is leading the turn. I give JP301 a pretty solid range, probably some big aces in his range uh, maybe some pocket pairs like pocket nines, pocket pocket jacks, I really think he should be shoving hands like ace king and pocket tens preflop uh, just ragged raises the turn I think his, his range is pretty strong there I don't think he has too many bluffs in his range he might have some hands with like clubs and a gutter or just clubs but I generally think his value range is going to be something like ace-10 that he was like slow playing on the flop or ace-jack, ace-king maybe he had pocket fives or pocket tens but I don't think he's going to like value bet this river with a hand like ace-9 or anything like that JP301 has ace-king I think I would have liked to see him re-raise and go all in preflop on the turn he had top pair top kicker and a club draw I think he should have just three bet that and got that in I liked his lead on the turn uh, just ragged was a little light in his preflop raise with ace two but he played the hand very well post flop he checked back the flop for pot control knowing that if he bet he's not gonna get value from a lot of hands so he got lucky to hit that turn it paid off and now he's sitting with good chips this next hand, JP301, was really short, so he had to shove this Jack-10. He flops good. Kid Call only has one out, but he flaps him good on the turn here. Uh, kind of delayed here, but he had his one-outer and goes on to get five-handed. Now we're on the bubble, top four paid in this tournament. So we're on the bubble. When Kid Call raises three times here, I'd be a little nervous if I was home youth. It almost seems like a trapping raise. I'd feel like... With this being the bubble, I think he would just shove a hand like ace-4 or king-jack. But he might do something tricky like this with good hands like ace-jack suited or ace-king or pocket aces, hoping to entice the shove. I think king-5 was just a little too light there, being it, it's the bubble. And I understand that you think you have full equity, but I just think it was a little light. We're in the money. There's a raise, and Bazooko has ace-jack. He has to shove that. Mezzi... Or Messi makes a good call. I don't I don't hate it. The sacks are pretty short. You're in the money, so can't blame him. Now we're three-handed. Kid call raises three times on the button. I think you can get away with raising a little less, maybe 1,500. I know Randall Flowers uh, mini-raises a bunch. We end up talking about him in the chat. Uh, some funny stories I said I would tell. Uh, at the main event on day four... Norman Chad was walked around and I saw him and he was right next to Randall and me and Randall when we both had the, our long hair we looked very similar so I went over to Norman Chad and I told him that we were twins and that we were gonna win the tournament we were gonna go one two and Norman Chad just looked at me funny and he ended up walking over to where I was playing about 10 minutes later and he said you guys aren't really twins are you and he was kinda calling me out and I was like no he's like yeah we have one set of twins but they're 30 something and obviously me and Randall both look really young so that's the story. On that last hand, Messi might have defended a little light with Jack-8, but he makes a good check raise, and Kid Call has a lot of equity and just gets it in, and I think they both played the hand as okay, besides the preflop call on Messi's part. Here, another standard play. Messi just gets unlucky, and now we're heads up between Just Ragged and Kid Call 6. It was only a $1 tournament, so the payouts weren't too steep, but I was really appreciative of everyone playing very serious. I think one person just kind of monkeyed off the pipe guy because he had to leave. But other than that, everybody was playing pretty straightforward, solid poker, which made it very enjoyable and 
serious as like a learning tool. Here, kid call limped the button uh, and then got it in. It's kind of a weird play. I think you're going to get it in behind a lot when you do that. I think a limp call would have been kind of sneaky and all right. Or even just a raise, get it in because I think when you raise, you might get re raise light. So now we're heads up. Kid call has about two to one chip lead. He limp called and the flop came 10 jack 5. There's a lot of draws and stuff, so if he has a pair, kind of expect, expect him to put it in, just with how shallow the stacks are, he does, and he gets lucky on the river, and takes down the first ever Kevin Flap, Flap Mint, so a lot of people have been asking me when the next one's going to go off. I'd really like to have a lot more numbers in these tournaments, so I think I'm going to hold off doing this until the Kevin Flap Poker League, which is the Poker ID on poker stars is three nine two two one seven. I'm gonna wait until that has between two hundred and two hundred and fifty members. It's at like sixty or seventy and I think after this video gets some views it shouldn't have a problem getting some more. So spread the word, invite your friends, it should be really fun. The next video should be a little better than this one. And I hope you liked it and I hope you leave some comments and tell me what you think.